I know we already have a lot of firepower, but you could never have too much. So today we're just gonna keep on building and building. And to begin, we're already ready for a new era, tier 3. For three times the power, we're gonna go for Elite Regiment to start. Mostly because that leads to a minigun. Uh, aside from that, I'll just build back some honeycombs that inevitably are going to get destroyed anyway. We currently have a population of 65 bees, so we need to keep going on more soldiers. There are a few of them up in the sky. We're gonna need more, plus I have just a lot of towers. I realize now for the first time that my barracks can actually make proper soldier bees. They take a little bit of resources to make, but we're definitely gonna make 20 of those. Okay, the elite regiment is done, we can now move on to making a minigun, and I love miniguns. And the military bunker we're gonna fit in here shortly as soon as I actually have the room for it. And some of these bees should start to be some of the elites already. Turns out I had the room for the elite thing, I just had to rotate it, but pretty soon we'll be able to make the super elite bees. For now, I feel like our incredible defenses are gonna be more than up to the wave defense task. Okay, here comes a wave of idiots. I already see a giant ladybug in the distance, so let's go to work. I'm probably mostly going to sit on whatever gun this is for the time being, uh, because they tend to be really, really strong and absolutely destroy the enemy insects. And they can look in all directions too, so that thing's already dead. The ladybug's making its way over. We got lots of wasps right in our face. But I also have a lot of our soldier bees getting in there to help too. I can't remember which one it is. It's really good against the ladybugs, but as soon as it gets close, all of my things are going to attack the ladybugs anyway. Now we can just down the wasps super easy with this gun. Plus my uh, defender bees are also really strong at this point too, so we've destroyed 1,000 hornets in total by this point. And you can just hear all the guns firing away. It's very much fun to do this. Uh, I didn't look the other side, didn't realize how many giant ladybugs we have flying at us, but we took out all the wasps on this side. It was a good distraction on their part. But now they're flying a single ladybug at us, and we have a million different towers, some of which might be pretty damaged by now. The ladybug got as close as that before all of the towers destroyed it. I can't tell if we lost anything yet because the base is getting pretty big, but I'm assuming we're doing well. So these are the three-star soldier bees. I'm just going to put this up to like 40, 50 for now, and we'll just pump out the big boys. And I'm going to make this a high priority so that we're sure that we're uh, continually making those. So over here, I'm going back to getting some regular bees so they can go out and get us more resources. And same with the uh, builder bees so they can build our base quickly. A radar. If we build a radar system, the detect and track hornets will be able to shoot ahead. Increase the range of defensive guns by 15%. Okay, and at the medical center, we should probably actually make a few nurse bees. Those will heal our fighter bees. I do think we lost a few during that last wave battle, but I'm not really sure because I think these over here are also soldier bees. It's getting hard to keep track of them, and I think over here would be the super elite soldier bees. Yeah, that's definitely like a super elite. You could tell by the way he's wearing armor. Now, miniguns are about that size. So we definitely need to make some of those size things and then we'll get some miniguns going. We're going to put one on every corner like we like to do. You can never have too much defense. These are effective against individual heavy targets, which is good. Uh, we have a gun for every occasion, like literally. We have 10 guns for every occasion already. And I definitely have an adequate uh, army of builders because as I look back around, all of these are just about ready to go already. The radar is already done, so we're going to invest in the sting missiles next. The radar thing is actually kind of huge. We're going to tuck it up here. Uh, not for any reason other than I don't really bother to plan my base out. I mean, obviously. It is feeling a little cluttered, but at least I know mostly where everything is, and that's all that matters. We have a minigun done already. I didn't even notice. Let's give that a try. Yeah, that's going to work out really well. And the radar thing is being constructed here, so it won't be long till we see some of that. Uh, we're definitely getting some soldier bees, some super soldier bees being created, so those will be really good for us as well. We're up to 85 colony. We have 350 of our 500 spaces used. The next wave is about to start. So far, we only have one minigun ready to go, but that's okay because I feel like we only need one. Okay, there's a ladybug coming from that side, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other things coming from everywhere, so we're just going to minigun it. There's also some dragonflies coming in. They're a little closer and probably more dangerous to my immediate base. Uh, they're really not going to last long once they get close. Oh, they're coming from all sides now. Okay, this is a pretty intense wave. This one's going to be fun. There's a ladybug in the distance. I feel like I don't have to worry about the ladybugs. Like, once they get close, they will be destroyed by my base anyway. I'm just going to fire whatever's closest because it's probably the most danger to my stuff. Oh, those are like super hornets. Okay, that ladybug's getting close. I feel like the ladybugs are very destructive if they do manage to get close, so we're not going to let them do that. I think my minigun is on fire. What else we got? The minigun does do a lot of damage. I can tell once I actually start hitting things, like it melts whatever it's shooting at. Definitely didn't have some holes quite this big in our base before, but I'm going to assume those are meant to be there. They make us more aerodynamic. We got a few more miniguns to go, but I feel like our next thing, yeah, it's only going to be 80 seconds. I feel like some of the things we lost in the center were these old outdated towers that do this. Uh, they obviously help, but if we lose a few, I don't mind. I won't even replace them. And we can see the nurse bees over here healing up my uh, workers for the first time ever, my soldiers. 
So my soldiers for the first time are actually getting medical care. I bet they're happy about that. And then my military bunker, my super soldiers, I'm actually going to turn their priority back down again. I think I need those resources going into miniguns. But our sting launcher is also ready to go. So let's see how big that is and where we're going to put it. Okay, this thing is huge. So we're going to tuck it in maybe up here. And I feel a little bit like if I have all these towers, I don't necessarily need as many soldier bees, though we do have quite a lot still. But it's like they say, you can never have too much of a thing. I don't know why I built as much as I did. This thing, a uh, big priority. Make this big thing happen. I currently have 47 regular bees, so our resources should be going quick, so we maybe need more builders. Soldiers is only 22 of. And we got the space for our, our next giant stinger thing. We have a minute and a half till the next wave begins, so we'll see what we manage to get finished before then. And in 40 seconds, we get supersonic projectiles, so that can increase the range of defensive structures by 30%. That's actually huge. These elite bees definitely are a little bit slow to make, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be worth it in the end. We're maybe going to slow down on the regular soldier bees again. Okay, next we're going to go for anti-aircraft system. We got the next wave of idiots coming in very shortly. Oh, but my sting thing is done. Look at the size of that gun. It's colossal. Hopefully it's good. Okay, we're rapid uh, firing at everything. Okay, what do we got for ladybugs? We're going to see if we can hit one of these. I don't know where the shot goes. It's hard to see. I feel like this is built for big uh, bugs like that, though. Maybe I should leave this to better uh, suited things. Yeah, my shots look like they're going way under that, so I'm just going to let the game sort of have that. The AI is uh, better than me at pretty much every aspect of this anyway. We'll sit back and relax and watch uh, the enemies get destroyed. Anytime they get close to my base, they just get absolutely decimated by a billion different things. Especially when they're dumb enough to get close. Once they get to here, they're boned. Okay, that was a direct hit on the ladybug from my big gun. It uh, it wrecked that thing. You can hear when that gun goes off and what it hits. It looks like we are a little bit on fire there. And uh, it hit the ladybug. It one-shots ladybugs. And we're about to have two of these. And they can hit the ladybug from this far away. There it goes. Dead. So we're going to need bigger guns. This is supposed to be hard at this point. I just have my giant cannon launching those things from a mile away. This gun is very, very good. I think I need to combine that with some miniguns. We have a lot of miniguns in progress, but uh, they certainly take you a minute to build. And we're receiving reports that we're about to be attacked by moths as well. I think I need a few more hardened wax factories. I'm pretty sure I lost a few along the way, you know, due to me being careless and not paying attention to what buildings I had. So we're going to get a few more of those. Hardened wax is good for a lot of different things. And I'm pretty sure that's the biggest thing holding us up right now, because we still only have one minigun. But it also said that the moths are really big, so I put my other giant cannon on high priority. Okay, we have a population of 100 now, so our population is still growing. 47 bees, 22 builders, 29 soldiers. Plus, we're about to unlock anti-aircraft system. Launches auto-guided missiles effective against large enemies. Large enemies are really going to start getting it tough. Then bulletproof vest, health of soldier bees increased by 20%. So these S1s, the new uh, anti-air thing, are actually not that big, which is really nice. So I only have to build little spots. I'm just going to put one on either side for now because resources, well, space is getting limited. And I think while I'm at it, I'm maybe going to build one more Harden Max factory. I just feel like we always need that stuff and it's uh, getting harder and harder to come by. But my strategy is basically just keep upgrading weapons, finding weapons, and then slowly building them. Because when I look back sometime later, I realize that there's a bunch of new guns we didn't have before. Now we're getting somewhere. Our second big cannon is online, so we're ready to go. And another minigun just got complete, so we have at least two of these going, if not more. And the whole army of workers is finally freed up from doing whatever they were doing, so now we're gonna get progress. They're definitely building... Okay, that was just a hardened wax factory, but that's good. We need lots of hardened wax. Okay, next I'm gonna get Academician. Ac Academician? I don't know what that word is. Mostly because it leads to increased stove temperature, which fortified wax production increased by 25%. Okay, the next wave of idiots is coming. Okay, we got a moth coming in. I already heard my big gun firing at that, though. Wow, that thing's quick and tough. Okay, we took one down. The moth is already destroyed, so I'm glad I built the big cannons when I did. The dragonflies probably also don't stand a chance, because as soon as my big stings hit them, they're also going to de get destroyed. Basically built a colony of guns. I just realized I mostly just... I fire bullets. That's all this colony does. But it's absolutely destroying this wave. The miniguns really do a lot to those poor bees. Okay, all of my miniguns are uh, online and operational. Uh, the surface terror missile did just take some damage for sure, but it's okay. I've turned the medical bee production back down to zero because these are pretty expensive to make. And uh, I really only needed one there because my bees didn't take a lot of damage. I don't even know what kind of weapons to put anymore. It does worry me that there's spots like this in my base. Like, I don't actually know what used to be here. So we'll just, uh, I don't know, replace that for now. And If I don't know it was there, I can't miss it that badly. I might also get a new era soon, but the Academ uh, mission is done. Academician. We're getting a lot of soldier bees too. I didn't realize how many we had. 
so that makes me feel good. We don't have as many of these, but these are really, really strong and really expensive. Our numbers are looking a little more uniform. 46 regular bees to gather ingredients, 33 builder bees to uh, move ingredients around and build things, and then 35 soldier bees for obvious reasons. Look at the giant swarm of bees we have now. I suppose that's not a good thing because they're probably looking for something to do. So I'm going to make, I think, the little bit of storage that they need, which is probably this stuff. Okay, the next wave is starting already. We got the uh, surface to air things going off. Uh, not not sure what we're being attacked by yet okay whatever it was we destroyed it in an instant that's a good sign next i'm going to research carbon bucket due to lightning of the bucket the speed of the getter bees is increased by 30 percent uh apparently we have a choice i didn't realize this thing at the end military ending peaceful ending construction ending well we have a military ending uh we don't want to do an ending yet we want more waves and damage because I still feel like we need more firepower, I'm going to add another two stings to our uh, everything. I'm just assuming that the moths out there are going to be the most dangerous of them. So if I have four of these big guns, we'll just destroy the moths before they even like be born. Okay, we already finished another sting that took like three seconds to do. So that bodes well for our future. It even says nothing can survive more than a few shots of this sting. So maybe we need more of these. We don't have a ton more room, but we do have some more room. And considering I have a giant army of bees that swarm to whatever I'm building and build it almost immediately, Immediately, we are going to be stupid not to do that. I am also going to go ahead and delete some of the spaces that uh, ended up being not used or perhaps destroyed along the way. That way we just gain a little extra floor space because if we can get more stings or uh, any cannons in general, we're going to. Okay, I hear the next wave has started. Okay, we already took down that giant moth. Where's the enemies? Okay, we got a dragonfly coming in that side. Okay, here we go. We got a whole bunch of dragonflies coming in this side. They're getting destroyed before they get anywhere close to us, but this is definitely a bigger wave. Lots of different things coming in and blowing up at our base. Ooh, that one actually made it to us. Good. Let's see. It's just, oh, it's like a carpet bomber. Okay, yeah, those are really dangerous. We're going to need more stings to uh, stop those. Aside from that, though, I think we're doing well. The surface tear missiles are also really good for dragonflies. I didn't realize that, but they actually seek them out from a long ways away. And they cleared up some space for me. One, two, three, four stings, I think think yeah we're building a fifth i think i'm gonna build a few more of those surface air missiles because they're good for dragonflies uh we need something for every occasion really okay my fifth sting is done we might have actually had one blown up along the way it's hard to say we got three over there we got two over here so i think we're doing okay with the stings for now now we're gonna get synthetic materials the production cost of all resources reduced by 50 percent which is huge i just received an achievement for building a maximum number of honeycombs so i guess we've done that i just destroyed my medium-sized barracks uh because we only need super bees at this point Anyway, that's going to free up some room. These guys are the bees of the future. We're definitely starting to collect a lot of high-end things. We got a whole bunch of giant stings. We have surface air missiles everywhere. And synthetic materials is done. So production costs of all resources, 50% cheaper. Now we're going to make ambrosia production speed increase by 25%. And then we're going to get population growth. So egg spawn 50% faster. Because we're doing all this, we're only a third of the way to the bee limit. And my newest giant sting is now done. We have six of them in total. So let's see what our giant moth sting at that okay we got lots of things firing in lots of directions automated okay this is a moth okay the moth is already down the moths are very destructive to the base there's a whole bunch of moths over there though we don't really get ladybugs anymore but we do get those which are pretty annoying but we take them down quickly come on stings we need to get these moths okay can we start shooting the moths now they're gonna tear my base in half okay that's a lot of moths right over the base that's not good They'll take a lot of damage here, but they're going to do some damage as well. Ah, uh, you know what? I think we're okay. I think these uh, giant sting things have a lot of health themselves. They're giant armored cannons after all. My base is definitely holier than it used to be, but I'm okay with that. Now, looking at the numbers, I do think I just lost about 30 tiles off the base, which seems like a lot. It is a lot, but I'm going to put a few miniguns right here around my queen because I'm pretty sure that's always what they're going for. So we need to keep that alive. As time goes on, we're getting less like useful base stuff and just more guns. But look how fast we make miniguns now. 10 minutes ago, we were struggling to make these. Now they pop up in an instant. Plus, we got all these super bees. We have so many of them. I'm also going to increase our damage by 100% real quick. There are some really good high-end upgrades here. Population growth will be next, so we get 50% faster bee spawning. And then five-year plan, production speed of all factories, 25%. The next wave of morons is coming in. The guns can fire from all the way over there. I can't even see those things, but they sure can. And look at all the projectiles we go firing out in all directions. Okay, we took down the moth over there. That thing's absolutely obliterated. I don't know what that is. Some kind of super dragonfly. More super dragonflies. Just a hail of bullets. 
Still waiting on more moths to show up. They always show up no matter what. But so far we're absolutely destroying all of them. The game's starting to lag a bit even. I did hear a lot of explosions there. I think my base probably took a little bit of damage as it often does. But all in all we're a pretty successful colony somehow. Legendary commander is almost done so our B damage goes up 100%. One thing I probably should have built now was a lot of these storage things. That's probably been our biggest holdup resource wise. But what can you do? I like how there's a nuclear explosion here on the military ending. Boom. Uh, I was expecting like a final wave battle, but I like where this is going nonetheless. We have a giant nuclear bee bomb. And it looks like we've detonated it somewhere or are going to detonate it somewhere. Honey is not waiting. Bee Island. Hornets time is up. Okay, we dropped a nuclear bomb on the Hornets, as we should do. I really thought there'd be like a final wave, but either way we destroyed the Hornets so we win. 